Hey YouTube, today I'll be reviewing Big Trouble in Little China's lightning action figure by The Loyal Subjects from 2020. I got this at my local Walmart store of all places. Buy them up all you can because on eBay prices are going way up and there are very few stores online where you can still buy it for its original retail price of $15. Time to open it up. This figure is about five and a half, almost six inches tall with his hat on. To go over there articulation, we're gonna have to remove his hat. Uh, but yeah, it advertises uh, something like, uh, uh, what is it? 22 points of articulation. So you do got uh, all kinds of leg movements. Oh, just so you know, a lot of his joints are super tight. Uh, so tight, like his knee joint here is so tight you almost want to take WD-40 to it. I mean, his joints are really, really, really tight. Uh, but yeah, a double, double knee joint there. Uh, some ankle movement. His feet are really tiny, so it's hard to get him to stand a little bit. Uh, whoever packaged him, his, his biceps were backwards. Um, but yeah, he's got uh, all kinds of arm movement. Uh, upper arm, elbow. Uh, swivel the wrist. He's got uh, an inner chest uh, and waist movement. His head is extremely hard to turn. You can hear it snapping. It is really hard to turn. Uh, so yeah, he's got a lot of articulation, but it's very stiff. Some areas are very loose, uh, and some are solid. His appearance is actually not that bad once I got messing with him. When I first saw him through the package, I'm like, oh great, he can't even put his hat on all the way down. Because before you saw him, it looked like it was tilted up and just showing his face, but all the, all the time you see the guys, all, all the storms in the movie, they all have their, their hats covering, you know, half their face, and that's exactly the way it should be. The detail on the chest uh, plating is actually very, very, very good. Uh, they even got the little uh, dragon thing ar around his belt there. They got the sheath for his uh, knife, uh, which he does come with. We'll go over accessories in a minute. Uh, his cape is, is a little weird though. They chose uh, plastic and it's glued on. I thought that was kind of weird. And it's, it's a very small dab of glue. So that, that kind of worries me a little bit. I would have much preferred a cloth cape, but I'm sure that could be done if someone were uh, very crafty enough. Um, but yeah, he's actually not too bad. Accessories do include his little knife dagger that you see him use in the movie, which does fit perfectly fine in his sheath. And yes, it does nope. actually fit in his hand, no problem at all. Taking these hands out is always a tricky part. I highly suggest uh, for any kind of figure you want to twist and turn and pull. That way you don't just, I mean, because if you try to just rip it out, great chance you can break it. Now, one problem I noticed with his hand spinner weapon things, they don't fit across all of his fingers. As you can see, they kind of go. Uh, by his pinky there. I cannot for the life of me get it to go over every single finger. So that is the, just the way it is. In addition, I can get one to spin all the way around if I wanted to do a stop motion. But the other one, I, I cannot. There's this bump in the way, and I'll show you some close-up pictures, but uh, so yeah, some, some problems there. And finally, as his lightning accessories go, I don't understand who designed these, because uh, there's, if you look at them closely, there's no molding for it to specifically, like, be able to be held in his hand. It's just loose. There's, there's no, no holes or gaps or, or form-fitting thing, uh, yet the back of the package shows that you can do all kinds of poses. Uh, so, a little failure there on that point. We got 
a problem. Big Trouble in Little China is my all-time favorite movie. Always has been and always will be. So, of course I had to get this figure and review them. I'm just happy that they made them. Because the only other two on the market are either atrocious looking or very old and expensive and have plenty of problems themselves. This figure is far from perfect. From joint issues to accessory problems, odd choice of lack of detail in the hat and cape assembly, I'm just such a big fan I had to get him. And if you are a big fan of this movie as I am, you should get him as well. And that wraps up my review. Thank you very much for watching, stay tuned for some still pictures, and I'll see you next time. Never can tell. Bye, Jack. We really shook the pillars of heaven, didn't we, Wang? No horseshit, Jack. No horseshit.